hello 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 worms um i've got a few days of panicking and tidying up before the other half gets home from work working abroad and stuff very anxious i just thought i'd kind of i wanted to make a li quick little video because um i've been i've been watching um videos about um dogs and different breeds having different um temperaments and things like that and how you're supposed to like adjust to them i think why do why don't they do that with people i mean you know they say old english sheep does have got this kind of attitude and you know whippets have got this kind of attitude attitude and that like and um and yet people are, are kind of like you have to do this and you have to do that but really i mean if you were to kind of divide the human race into um the kind of things that, the kind of breeds of dog that um i've got a sore lip because i've got a cold and my nose is running excuse me um if you were to divide human beings up up like like breeds of dogs well, i wonder what breed of dog would the uh, adhd people like me be uh would they be a malamute would they be a dalmatian would they be a pointer what would they be springer spaniel i don't know but um dog owners always decent responsible dog owners always um have an understanding of the breeds and their their various temperaments so it wouldn't be nice if that i mean i don't like comparing human beings to dogs because um especially in the uh, autism community a lot of people have been operand trained like pavlov's dog and that's disgraceful but i think if we if we know if we um if we notice that uh, uh, people have different temperaments the same ways that different breeds of dogs have temperaments and learn to work with them and understand their needs and differences and activity levels and things like that wouldn't wouldn't life be a lot easier i mean you know you can give a dog up to a rescue if you can't handle it but but people you can't just like abandon them although i bet my my mom was she'd done that with me that was an accident um uh, so yeah how how funny is it that sometimes that animals get so much better treatment than humans i don't quite figured that out um but I, I i think that it's definitely an idea to to look at human beings in not not like animals exactly but to to recognize that that, that maybe humans come in different shapes and sizes and that we have to recognize their temperaments and uh you know that there are uh, likes and dislikes and that and respect them as much as um people do with different breeds of dogs and indeed cats horses or whatever it is um thoroughbred racehorses who are sensitive get get treated with kid gloves a lot of the time oh, mind you they do get shot when they've gone lame and uh that'd be that'd be a key i mean i did my knee in so what would i be like nah <laughs> no but anyway it does amaze me sometimes how people make um exceptions for dogs behaviors and they they will they will temper how they react to the dogs but they won't extend that you know that kindness and, and understanding to human beings and you know you could go down the whole thing of like uh we, we euthanize animals to put them out in their misery um I'm, I'm not talking about shelters i'm talking about when the animals are clearly suffering um and yet human beings aren't allowed that dignity either so i wonder why it is that human beings aren't allowed that individuality and dignity where animals especially like beloved pets aren't um i don't know about that i mean is it because the animal they think that animals have got like nothing more to offer to people or uh they kind of expect that they're not going to live that long you know i mean so what what age you have to get to in life before someone says or, or before you can say look i've i've had enough and it's you know it's it's not worth me going on but for an animal you you would you know they 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 get sick and and maybe it's because they've got the owners haven't got enough money to keep them going um i like in my case um with dom i just kept th keep throwing money at the vets and till we figure out what's 
you know, what's wrong with him. And, you know, sometimes he gets better and sometimes he gets worse. But, I don't know, I don't mind that. Um, but I'd like to think that if I was really, really ill, like I had terminal cancer or something, I, I'm not sure I'd want to have, like, loads of chemicals thrown at me to just keep me going because... I already feel like I don't have much to offer the world. I certainly don't think I would have much to offer the world if I was in a uh, care home or something like that. But the point is, the long story, short story, the long short story. The story I was just, I'm just amazed by these dog videos that say, "Yeah, uh, this is this is a breed of dog, and this is how you know we should treat them. This is how we should respect them." But we don't, we don't give that understanding to to different um behaviors and and uh sensitivities with human beings um i don't know maybe i should grow big pointy gray ears and a long muzzle or something i don't maybe it's because human beings all look the same and we kind of i mean apart from the fact that the victorians used to um try and judge people by their uh facial um mannerism not mannerisms the facial i can't remember well, there was a word for this i can't remember um put it in the comment down below if you uh can remember what it is but by the, but the shapes of their skulls and and their faces and things like that and, and uh, the victorians used to to kind of guess what kind of temperament people had by that but it's it's not down to the way you look really it's down to it's, it's it is down to genetics in a lot of ways um it's also it's down to genetics and it's down to to um nature and nurture like say if you've got a rescue dog or a rescue cat and they've got behavioral behavioral issues isn't that the same as having a human being that's got behavioral issues you know you'd forgive a certain animal you're kind to it you 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 know you discipline it and whoops <laughs> so i'm holding my phone in my hand um and and you'd you know you'd give it some sort of leeway understanding you'd work with it but with human beings um for some bizarre reason people people don't want to um acknowledge that there are certain aspects that you need to work with they would just like discard you if you're not good enough which in a way is worse than you know a lot of people would discard a dog if they're not good enough and then a lot of people would take on a rescue dog and um you know try and understand them be sweet and nice and work with them but but with human beings, it's like you can either get discarded, i.e. like sacked from a job or, or or split up with a relationship or a friend will just like not contact you again or whatever it is. And But they probably spend more time trying to reason with their dog than than a human being. So why is that? Like, I mean... I think I'd like I'd like to think I've got more to offer than a dog um but then again maybe dogs are just more trainable um even even the problematic ones so you know I I don't know I I, I think often often with people and dogs it's like a control thing I've known a lot of dog owners that the reason that they've got dogs is because they can train them and, and tell them what to do but with humans they want to train them and tell them what to do but they can't because like well we're humans and we've got a little bit more uh going on up top there a little bit more uh independence and uh maybe that's maybe that's why people want to be more understanding with dogs because you know they are uh more malleable i guess but i i would really love it if people would just understand the differences in people's temperament the same way as they understand the differences in dog temperament as well um or any other domesticated animal um i feel it feels kind of gross that that uh, you can be discarded as a human being because you're too sensitive or or nervous or anxious or something but if, if that was a dog you'd you'd spend so many hours with them trying to make them feel more relaxed and uh, uh, ugh, you know <laughs> i'll never understand that i'll never understand that at all um 
say. Anyway, I'd like to know what your opinions are on this. I, I find it really baffling, quite frankly. Um, why why do dogs why do dogs with with sensitive and, and different temperaments get a leeway when human beings don't? Why? That's weird, isn't it? Anyway, I will uh, post something else in uh, due course and uh, probably clear my teeth because I've had a vegetarian pizza and for God's sake they put so many onions on it, it's just disgustingly gross. Right, take care y'all. Bye.